a substantial change occurred in the Spanish navy during the reign of Felipe V, first monarch of the House of Bourbon, with the development of two main objectives, the defense of the coasts and communication with overseas territories. With the appointment of the Mayor General, Mr. José Patino, in January 1717, the strengthening of the Maritime Department of Cadiz began. Among others, the Royal Company of Midshipmen, the Navy Battalions and the Royal Arsenal of La Carica were created. This growth of marina's dependencies in the city did not lead to a global construction program that would facilitate its settlement in appropriate and assembled buildings. Hence, being the Director General of the Navy, Juan José Navarro, 1st Marquis de la Victoria and former Marine, the transfer of the Maritime Department to the island of Leon was proposed. The transfer became effective at the end of 1768, reigning Carlos III. For the town, inhabited by just over 7,380 residents, the transfer of 16,000 people from Cadiz meant a fundamental change in its demographic evolution but also revealed the difficulty of housing the different departments of the department. The site chosen by Juan José Navarro to build the new town was known as the Monte del Duque, belonging to the Ducal House of Arcos, which was then used mainly as a quarry for oyster stone. On April 7, 1775, the formalization of the deed of sale was verified, receiving the Merezgo de Arcos 580,000 reais. Vicente Imperial Digueri, an army engineer who went to the Navy as second lieutenant, was appointed director of the works in 1774. As the construction of at least one of the battalion barracks in the new town was urgently needed, due to the precariousness where they were housed, Imperial Digueri projected an extraordinary building, conceiving it in a rectangular shape with 130 Castilian varas in front, 108 meters, and 175 Castilian varas on the side, 146 meters. Resolved in three floors with capacity for 2,016 soldiers. The works began in June 1786 and were completed in April 1794. The visitor is in front of an explanatory panel divided into two parts. The left is dedicated to the history of the Marine Corps. It narrates the origin of the body and the most notable events and characters from its creation, in 1537, to the date of the beginning of the barracks works. The right contains the summary of the historical synthesis of the Quartal de Batalones. It describes the origin and data on its construction, units and schools that have been housed in it. Going on with the exhibition, there is a display of facsimile documents related to the construction of the barracks, the name of the town and the state of the magazine of the 1st Company of Grenadiers of the Navy Battalions in 1793, the first unit quartered in the Quartal de San Charlie.